Five, a street without cars. The city of Palo Alto is mulling over plans to close down a popular block to let pedestrians take over. But as KPIX5's Kit Doe shows us, there's a lot to consider. Palo Alto is already one of the most vibrant downtowns in the Bay Area, so why mess with a good thing? Is there a sense of if it's not broke, don't fix it? You know, I think some people may have that concern. Um, you know, I, I share that a little bit. This week, the city council voted unanimously to study closing parts of downtown and making it pedestrian only. It's very early in the process, so it's unclear what that would look like. Mayor Greg Scharf says all that asphalt could be replaced with outdoor dining. The city could add benches and water fountains. Oh, yeah, no, I'd be very excited about it. I mean, I think it could, um, could be fantastic. I mean, if you've been to um, Boulder, Colorado or Santa Monica, you've seen how wonderful these um, pedestrian malls can be in the downtown. Palo Alto would be one of the few Bay Area cities to do so. Back in 1994, San Jose began to shut down blocks of East San Carlos Street that used to bisect San Jose State University. D. Prasad does not think it's a good idea since he works late hours at a restaurant and already has to park several blocks away. So it's going to take a lot of parking away from everywhere, which means I guess we'll have to park really far and walk, a lot, walk here and then go back again. Casey Girard supports it, saying distracted drivers are dangerous. People should walk. It would be a better, it's, it's nicer. It makes it more pleasant because then you're not afraid. I'm going to cross the street, but a car might hit me because they're not paying any attention to pedestrians. The mayor hopes to have the study done in about a year and a half. In Palo Alto, Kit Doe, KPIX 5.